platform and she studied a level photography what is it you like about photography that made you choose the course i like it because it's like most people when they see a photograph or on instagram they don't really think about what goes into taking that photograph they just see it for what it is yeah. but photography allows you to see what happens behind the scenes almost so like you know when someone has this perfect shot in the sun they usually have a reflector and people don't see that in the photograph yeah. but as a photographer you start to notice that a lot more and so you notice different techniques and also i also study art so seeing how it photographs really are taken yeah. yeah seeing how photographs taken it really helps with my art as well to make my work more original through my photographs and then through copying them onto a piece of paper i suppose you can take your artwork and interpret it into yes. different uh, things the same magic yeah the same feeling um, nowadays you can take so many photos you know click one after the other and um, you can also straight away look at your photos yeah. whereas i will say back in the days um, i love you know the fact that with the film you could only take 24 you were limited to 24 to 36 yeah. shots so you had to be very careful you know you, I was really uh, thinking of my frame, what I would like to take. Yeah, you can't take photos really nearly and say, oh, okay, that's enough. You yeah. have to really think of it. Yeah, I was really thinking, you know, of my frame, what I was yeah. looking for. I, I will take my time compared to today. I think people just click, yeah. press on the button. Yeah. And also the magic. How much work goes into developing f photos and do you think this adds the worth to your photos? <laughs> first of all, it's a lot of work goes into developing your photos. Just first of all, you have to process your film and the film processing takes about between half an hour and an hour in itself. Wow. And before you even start to think about your photos after you need to create Are a contact sheet yeah <laughs> and after you create a contact sheet and contact sheet alone takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how well you can do it the first time around so you spent almost two hours and you still don't even have a single photograph printed after that one photograph will take between five to ten minutes depending on how good you are at your first try and how many things you can change and how many times you can change it and how many test shots you need to do so overall, I would say that for me, a single photograph would take between five to ten minutes. And if that photograph comes out not great after all the time, then it is really frustrating. Yeah. But if it does come out perfect, then it is really rewarding because you've put in all that work and then you see it all in that one photograph. Have you worked with both analog and digital photography? What's the difference between the two and what do you like about them? Uh, so for analog, it's like you take your picture but you focus more on what happens in the dark room than you do when you take a picture. So you, with the picture, you just focus on your light reading and you focus the rest of the setup before you see a picture. It's more focusing on camera settings and experimenting with that than it is about... Which one do you prefer and what is the difference between the two? <laughs> I prefer digital mainly because you can see the picture, you know, zoomed in on the computer before you print it so you know exactly what's going to come out on your piece of paper. And you, so it gives you that control of if something, let's say, your exposure is not exactly correct, you can fix that in Photoshop. So it does give you that sort of that comfortable feeling that even if something does go wrong during the photo shoot, you can fix it later. Whereas yeah. with analog, if something goes wrong, you for can't. example, you have a bad light reading, you're not going to print your picture well. Yeah. You Lots of people will argue that analog photography has been like it's disappeared from the scene. Would you say that is true, and why? To an extent it is, because most people that are not professional photographers find digital much easier to work with and it's also more accessible because, you know, not everyone will have an access to a darkroom, but most people have printers at home, most people kind of buy photo paper, print pictures. Whereas, you know, analog photography is very common amongst professional photographers and amongst mm -hmm. students that study photography, but less common with normal people that just want to take pictures. Do you feel like um, studying both analog and digital uh, photography would give you an advantage in in the sense where you know how both of them w work? I feel like yes because before I started studying photography professionally I never really acknowledged the fact that so much work goes into taking a photograph I would just sort of take a photograph and move on yeah. a lot more. Yeah because I feel like nowadays people just take photos <laughs> without even thinking or 
they say it's a nice photo, but they don't really appreciate as much as we do. So yeah. it's really nice talking to someone that knows and appreciates it. Yeah, like and even most people know is those snap, 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 taking yeah, so many yeah. pictures. Whereas with analog, you have a set amount of photos on your film, and you can't go beyond that. So you have yeah. to really think about each photo when you take it. All right. Anyway, I remember this little boy coming on giving me the film. And he said, how from this little box Can you get I get yeah. these photos? Yes, so I've explained to him the story. I said, well, look, you come with this, but inside you've got this film, it's coming out, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you have all these little uh, negative, and then we print them and turn out on paper photos. But the, this child, again, is to reinforce the magic you could see how innocent he was, yeah. that he couldn't understand how it was possible from this little film to end up with, you know, a big thing. A four, yeah. S3 photos. And I think we've lost that nowadays. Yeah. Do you feel like it's all about digital nowadays? I feel like it really depends. I feel like to an extent it is more so than it was before, just because it's much more accessible, like I've mentioned before. But I feel like those that are really professional about it, for example, you know, university students, those who mm -hmm. study there, those who want to be professional, I feel like they work with both equally. Whereas those who, you know, just care about the photography for the sake of it and more do it more as a hobby, digital is much more common because it's just a lot cheaper to print photos than it is, you know, to go to a dark room yeah. and find a dark room. So it's a lot cheaper. I mean, like, do you feel like the people that are um, interested in photography are limited now like there's not many people interested in photography I feel like I feel like more people are interested in photography but not in the way that it was in the past so more people are interested in like oh what is photography I want to do it but yeah. not as many people are interested in like appreciating it as an art yeah, form yeah, yeah, like there were before I feel like analog photography is slowly becoming less common and it's hard enough to find you know a dark room before there were like dark rooms everywhere that we could print your pictures whereas now it's less common so I feel it's like it's becoming less popular, but not going to die out completely. Yeah. Photography. I feel like it has because you know before it was mainly about taking a picture and that was it. Whereas digital photography has you know provided us with Photoshop, with being able to take a picture and then manipulate it in Photoshop. So yes, you can retouch it and make it perfect, or you can you know put stuff over it and take a picture of let's say a painting and put that over it, change the opacity, make it see through, and create an almost digital artwork with your picture. So it's not more about just the photograph, it's now becoming more of an art source, like an, more creative. They, they think more about like the effects and yeah. everything like that. Just playing around with digital yeah. effects. And I feel like, this is my personal opinion, I feel like um, on the camera they don't really play with the settings to see what yeah. effect it makes. They just think, oh, I would do it on Photoshop, yeah. uh, I will edit it on Photoshop. We need to collab. I'll get him in another before and I'm sure he'll be like, yo, I need you again. I don't think this girl will be too happy. Oh, nice. So I'm not good. I feel like even though I haven't produced an analog photo um like an analog piece yet, I really have like talking to you and talking to other people about um analog photography, I've really like developed a an excitement and I feel like nowadays there's not much people bringing awareness to analog photography yeah. like it was What's your opinion on it? Do you feel the same? Focus on something that's difficult but achievable and successful once you do it right. It really makes you sort of be one with yourself and one with your work. You know? or yeah, I agree. I feel like now people don't appreciate it as much. And also, you know, people that don't necessarily feel very passionate about photography when they hear about how many steps you have to take to even print one photograph, they're like, no, I don't really want to do that. That takes yeah, way too long. Let like, yeah. me just stick with digital. That takes a minute to print out. Yeah. There's people that say, oh, photography is long, photography is yeah. long. I suppose if you're not interested in it, obviously you're going to think Yeah, it really depends. There's some people out there that be like, why study photography? You know, it can just take... It's, that saying is really interesting. You know, there's so